So imagine you are six years old. So it's time for you to go to elementary school. Mm. Unless uh, you have one year delay, which is possible if your doctor says you are not mature enough. Mm. But from six to 15 years, mm -hmm. you have nine grades of elementary school. Mm -hmm. And it's actually divided to two stages. Okay. And the first one is from one to five grade and uh, from six to nine grade. Okay. That's the second one. Uh, as I said earlier, everybody needs to go here. It's by law. But that's all by law is elementary school, nothing else. So just so, those nine yeah. grades of elementary school are mm -hmm. required by law, but yeah. after that it's not required. Exactly. And are you graded in elementary school? And um, yes. Yeah. And what system of grading do you use? Like what would be mm -hmm. the highest mm -hmm. grade and the lowest grade, numbers, mm -hmm. letters? Yeah. Well, the most usual you get graded by numbers mm -hmm. from one to five. Okay. One is like the best, you are number one, mm -hmm. and the five is like, it's... Uh, the worst. The yeah. worst, yeah. It, it, but five would mean you fail. Yeah, okay. basically you fail. Mm -hmm. If you got five on the like uh, final, final report mm -hmm. of the general education, mm -hmm. it, means, it, it means you are doing the grade again, because okay. you failed. That would be at, at grade nine. Any you, grade. At, at Any every grade, grade yeah. you take an exam at have, the end of the year. Uh, if you have from one to four, it's fine. If okay. you have five for you any have subject, repeat. You have to repeat the whole, okay, one, the whole year. And it's every year. Wow. It's every year, and it's actually every half a year. <gasps> you Ooh. get grades. So your elementary school is kind of stressful. Uh, it is. So that's why, like nowadays, some schools try to not to give grades, but like. Uh, sentences at the end okay but it's very few mm -hmm. normal one it's to give grades mm -hmm. okay yeah so if you pass mm -hmm. at elementary school after those nine years mm -hmm. then what comes next okay what comes next is a uh, high school mm -hmm. but i think it's a little bit different than american one because in high school we have let's say three different types and the first one would be Voca vocational school, uh, the short would be S O U, mm -hmm. and it would be for three to four years. Mm -hmm. And this, this one would be like the most basic, like if you want to go after this school right to the job. Mm -hmm. What kind of job would that be preparing you for? Uh, that could be like uh, being in a store, okay, or working with the wood. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like a vac vocational high mm -hmm. school kind of thing, starting yeah. at 15 years old. Starting at 15 years old, yeah. Ending at 19, going straight into a mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you actually want to uh, continue studying after this, mm -hmm. you can. You need another two years, mm -hmm. and uh, you can get uh, the certificate of maturity, which is like the main thing that. Can you say that again? Certificate of... The Certificate of Maturity Examination. Okay. We called it in Czech Maturita. Mm -hmm. And that's like what everybody knows. And it's like the actually basic, like the certificate for most of the jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's basic requirement yeah. to get into most, most jobs. Mm -hmm. All right. If you want like lower paid job, you can get... You don't have to need it, but... Yeah, but... If you are going to be the uh, in the shop, you know, usually need it. But most of the people have it, get it. So there's a second option, which is uh, another like vocational school. It's called S O S. Uh, that's another type. Mm -hmm. It's for four years, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit uh, more difficult to get. Because the first one would be usually without any exam, without any entry exam. Any entrance exam. Yeah. Uh -huh. This one, uh, it could be uh, yes or no. It depends on the school. And this one ends strictly, directly with the certificate of maturity examination. Mm -hmm. And it's more like a global one. So mm -hmm. it's not uh, focused on any like subject that would be useful for you when you finish. <laughs> but it's so it's not specialized in a particular 
field, but it's for people who don't plan to go on to university. Is that is that correct? Well, each time you can decide. Okay. Each time you can decide if you want to continue or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. This would be like the basic, still the basic one. Mm -hmm. And that would be the third option, and that would be like high school. Mm -hmm. We call it gym, gymnasium. Right. And that would be for four years too. But there's like three types of this because yeah. you can actually uh, go right after the elementary school, but you can also go from the seventh grade or fifth grade. So the so high I school would, if you go from five grade, the high school actually would take eight years. It means okay. like if your kid is more advanced, let's say, right. he would go to this special school. So it would be possible so it could at be 11 four years. to eight years. Uh -huh. It would be possible for someone at, with, at 11 years old mm -hmm. to then start high school, but then yeah. high school would be yeah. a more advanced level, but it would last for yeah. eight years. It would last for eight years. Okay. And they would graduate at the same time as people who entered that mm -hmm. high school yeah. um, when they but, are 15. Uh, of course, since this is uh, more difficult to get in, you would need to take an exam. Okay, that's for I, sure. I hope it's not the same exam for the eleven-year-olds and the fifteen-year-olds. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, probably, probably not. <laughs> okay, but uh, besides these three types, there's also one that's called uh, conservatory. 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 Uh huh. Which is for it's kind of specialized school for teaching art. Mm -hmm. So that's like for music, for singing, for mm -hmm. playing instruments, or maybe dancing, acting, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it takes six years. All right. So it's a little bit longer. And this one actually ends with the diploma exam. Ah, not, so you would be a diploma a maturity, specialist. Not a maturity certificate. It's a well, a maturity certificate is like below the mm -hmm. diploma. Mm -hmm. So if you get the diploma, it's clear that okay. you are above. And on these high school levels, are you still graded on a level on a scale of one to five? Uh, you are, but we call each half a year a semester, mm -hmm. and you would get uh, only numbers from one to five again. Mm -hmm. But at the end, you need to take exam, and it only matters if you pass or not. Okay. So the numbers are like only for you basically. Okay. Because if you have one 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 and then you didn't pass the final test, you didn't pass. All right. So All it's right. like more of an information. Mm hmm. And could that information be useful for universities when you want to apply to the universities for them to know what grades you had? That's a good question. Thank it's you. important on the elementary question mm -hmm. because if you. Um, going from elementary question to any high school mm -hmm. and you don't want to take the exam uh, you need to show them your grades mm -hmm. from the i think it's from the eighth grade mm -hmm. and the half of the ninth grade okay they want to they will do like uh, counting the numbers if mm -hmm. it's good enough and then you could and then you could skip the entrance exam exactly okay yeah. all right interesting then there's a universities. Mm -hmm. If you want to study more, you can you can actually study and work too. I think that's usual like everywhere. Mm -hmm. You can daily study or doing it doing the work. And you can you cannot enter without the maturity certificate. Okay. So you need it. And it's still for free. I mean all of these we are talking about. Uh, for free because mm -hmm. it's run by state unless you take a private school at any part of this and if, if it's you, for free if you are studying in Czech it's for free because mm -hmm. I happen to know mm -hmm. that for yeah. Czech universities the programs even for international students if they study in Czech mm -hmm. it's free they just have to have the same entrance exam as mm -hmm. the Czech students yeah. but most English language programs in the country they they charge some tuition mm -hmm. fees for this, mm -hmm. so that's yeah. a little bit different. But so until now it's free, mm -hmm. but uh, the first university uh, is a higher vocational school that takes three years 
but this could be also a private school so it depends mm. you can choose and uh, this high vocational school could be with various focus so it depends on you like when you want to study and this one ends with the diploma again mm -hmm. and just so you know the if you get the diploma it's called dis mm -hmm. you got it uh, after your name not okay. before okay that's the only one you got after your name mm -hmm. and the second one would be bachelor's degree program which takes from three to four years ends with the final examination and the diploma thesis defense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one, uh, you will get uh, BC or BCA mm -hmm. before your name, so it's okay. more prestige. Mm -hmm. If you want to be even higher, you're gonna take master degrees program, and you can, if you actually have a BC, you can then uh, take like another years to master degree. Mm -hmm. It's all connected, like you go yeah, step going by step, step by yeah. step. Mm -hmm. So on the master degrees program, it's uh, it's going to take from one to two years. Again, it depends on your focus. And if it's uh, not connected to your bachelor degrees, you can do it too. But mm -hmm. it takes from three to four mm -hmm. years. So people would usually do bachelor's degree first, right? Because if you don't make the master degrees program at all, you have nothing basically, right? Yeah. And the last one with the doctoral, doctoral study program, which takes from three to four years. And it uh, ends with the doctoral examination exam and the public defense of the dissertation. Mm -hmm. And the title is PhD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's before that again. And actually, if you want to study Two masters degree, it's possible. You can have two, you can have three. Really? Yeah, as much as you want to. Nice. You could collect them. Yeah, you can collect them. And there's another way of studying, even after. And it won't be paid. It will be paid mm -hmm. because after, I think, 26 years old, you have to pay for it if you want to study more. They have to make yeah. some limits. Yeah. But you can actually participate in lifelong learning programs which can deepen your knowledge even more but you will not get any certificate you will get certificate but not any title mm -hmm. after completing this one mm -hmm. okay. and if you want to keep your brain active even in the old age you can take actually the university of the third age it will be paid but not like big money mm -hmm. and anyone can basically join but it's uh, more for the seniors Nice. And at the end of the program, it, you will get the only certificate, not the title. Yeah. So that's about the summarization of the Czech meditation. All of, the options. Of course, there are the private schools and are very different. Yeah. And right. right. But this is like the basic one that states offers. Well, thank you very much for that information. I think the experience of all Czech citizens going through education is clearer now mm -hmm. to know what options they have. Oh. And you, you're probably not Czech. And if you're interested in coming to the Czech Republic to study, we could do another video to explain what your possibilities are, what you would have to do. Mm -hmm. But we're going to need something from you first. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a comment under this video said, saying, study in Prague video. And we need 25 likes Just 25. on that comment to let us know that there are enough mm -hmm. people interested in exactly. information about studying in Let's Prague. say in one month from mm. this video. Ooh, okay. that's ambitious. <laughs> but we believe in you guys. So share the video, tell your friends who might be interested in studying in Prague to like that comment. And we'll do a video telling you all of your possibilities here. And there are some good options. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.